Good morning, early risers. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm Alicia Smith. And I'm Keenan Smith. And the back end of barrel moving through Metro Detroit this morning. Check it out. After making landfall, of course, as a Category 1 hurricane in Texas on Monday. Well, we have team coverage this morning. Allie Hoxie is keeping an eye on any disruptions for your morning drive. But let's kick things off with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor in the Weather Center, who's been tracking the storm all morning long. And that's right, and we've also been tracking some drier air that's punching through right now. That was a part of the forecast, and it's going to help some of us out, but unfortunately, not everybody. Let me show you the radar so you could see where it's raining at its heaviest pace, but also where the drier air is currently located. It's approaching Mount Clemens near Pontiac as well, but still rain, raining uh, steadily in areas like Port Huron and Lapeer. But let's break down exactly what's taking place in the influence of this tropical system. Now, first and foremost, uh, you'll see the clearing line right here from Pontiac. So Southfield is starting to lighten up. Same thing for the girls points in the east side of Detroit, getting a little bit better in Mount Clemens. But let me take you over to Washtenaw County near Bridgewater. Notice how these showers and even thunderstorms potentially just kind of flare up and they sit in, in one place. That's why the flood potential is going to be there because this rain is not going to move much but it's a tropical rain, so it's going to be intense. And you notice this color showing that much of Metro Detroit is saturated with about two to three inches of rainfall. So anything we add on to that from this point forward can easily cause some flooding. That's why it will be possible not only on the roads, but just about everywhere. We'll talk about some changes just ahead as we dry things up. Allie? 